So we both came from a consumer good background. Specifically cosmetics. Specifically cosmetics and hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, we worked and, for Redcom. And we both worked together previously. Yeah. So it was coming over here, we, we knew we had to find a vehicle that would accelerate what we had already done previously. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what we did. Mm -hmm. we, we looked for that vehicle and the vehicle turned out to be education. And yeah, we uh, didn't anticipate that there would be this huge gap between the license here, well then it was California, the license in California and the, the qualifications that we'd seen in South Africa and in Europe. There was this enormous skill set gap. And there were, the, in 1983 when we came, there were only seven out of the 50 states that even had a license for skincare. The rest there was no license, it was a free fall, you could just, you know. It was do. very different to, than today. Yeah, so today. we had that aha moment where we said, as we looked at the industry, thinking what would we do in the industry, something, we suddenly saw this huge opportunity staring at us, which was education. And so we started the International Dermal Institute and at that stage, when we were not developing a product line, but developing curriculum. And then three years later, we developed Dermalogica. Mm -hmm.